Devin, are you ready for a date? Yes! You date me so good. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe, but not one recipe. It's a full course meal today because... Valentine's Day. Yeah! Getting you ready for your dates! Exactly. So I really wanted to make like a full on, if you wanted to cook for your significant other on Valentine's Day, but also like, don't want to like blow the bank on a dinner, you know? That's why you're not going out, I assume. Here's the thing, like, food is our love language. But our budget. <laughs> yeah, and like also you can cook such delicious food with pretty like low cost ingredients. Yes. You just kind of have to know how to use each component of everything. And you need to make sure there's money for the wine. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so what did we make for the whole meal? Okay, so for the appetizer, did a super simple like green pea crostini, which is really good. Mm -hmm. For the main, I did a chickpea tomato pasta, mm -hmm. and then for dessert, we did a chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. Chickpea power. Chickpeas to the rescue! Actually though, like when I was planning this and I wanted to make sure it was like on a budget, so all this came to under $15, and it serves more than two people. Yeah. Oh yeah. So like there's tons of pasta left over, there's a ton of dessert. <laughs> Uh, the Christini is more on the lines of two people, but I think you could add a third and fourth person in there. Since you could add a third wheel on your date. <laughs> since it's that. <laughs> but like, you'll have leftovers is what I'm saying. Um, so it all came out to under $15, which is amazing. So you kind of had to figure out ways that you could use same ingredients across yeah. things and figure out where you should splurge and where it's okay to get the cheapest available option. Basically, the only two places that I chose to splurge was the tomatoes we used, the canned tomatoes we used in the pasta, because it can really make a difference, I learned, <laughs> um, and the pasta itself. Those are the two places I decided not to go with the cheapest option. They're not the most expensive option, but they're not the cheapest option. Um, and everything else, I went with basically the cheapest option I could find. But you can't even tell. Exactly. Science. And I also, when I was planning the menu, knew I had to use chickpeas, because I knew I could use the chickpea water in a dessert. So, aquafaba. And a can of chickpeas is a buck, so you get basically like two meals for a dollar. There you go. Yeah. Okay, before we get into these recipes, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. Now let's go get this date ready. Date ready. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> to make your budget three course Valentine's Day dinner, first gonna start off by prepping our dessert because it's gonna take the longest time. So to do that, we're going to take a little bit of dark chocolate and melt that in a double boiler until nice and smooth. And then we're just going to turn off the heat and set that aside. Next up, we're going to drain a can of chickpeas and keep that chickpea liquid. Then you're just going to set the chickpeas off to the side because we'll be using them later. With that chickpea liquid in the stand mixer, we're just going to slowly beat that for about 10 minutes or until you get nice stiff peaks. While it is beating, at the point where you start to see it get a little bit fluffy, you're going to slowly add in a little bit of white sugar, and then we're going to beat that until it forms stiff peaks. Basically what that means is when you take the beater out and stand it up, nothing should fall over in the beaded mixture. All right, so next we're going to take the bowl and pour over the slightly cooled melted chocolate. And then using a spatula, we're just going to fold the chocolate into the mixture very gently because we don't want to deflate it. Then we're going to add in just a touch of baking powder. This is just going to help it keep it set. And we're just going to fold that in. Then we're going to add it into our desired containers and set that in the fridge to set. You will make a lot more than for two people, so lots of chocolate dessert. Next up, we're going to prep our appetizer. So for our appetizer, we're making a green pea crostini. What we want to do is thinly slice a baguette into little rounds, about half of the baguette so that you get a good number for each person. Then the rest of the baguette, we're just going to slice really, really long so that we can use it for our main course later. 
In the oven that's preheated to 350, we're just going to place those crostini on a baking sheet and bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes or until they're nice and crispy. Once they get crispy, make sure to turn off the heat and you can leave them in there until you're ready for them. To make our green pea mashed mixture to go on top of our crostini, we're going to add some frozen peas to a pan. Then we're gonna cook them up until they're nice and thawed. Then we're gonna add in some garlic powder, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil and just kind of mix that all together and cook it up a little bit until the oil has kind of absorbed into the peas. Then using a fork or potato masher, you're gonna mash the peas just roughly. There can still be some whole peas, just enough so that you can kind of scoop it onto the crostini and it won't all just slide off. Then we're going to add in some freshly chopped parsley, stir that in, allow it to cook for an additional one to two minutes and then turn off the heat. You can serve the crostini with the dollop of the mashed peas on top of a crispy crostini. And if you want to, optionally, you can sprinkle on some chili flakes or something like that. If you have a little bit more of a budget, you can add in some vegan cheese. To make the main course, which is a chickpea tomato pasta, we are going to place a heavy bottomed pot on medium to high heat on the stove and allow that to heat for just a couple minutes. Then we're gonna add in some olive oil and allow that to heat for another 30-ish seconds. Then we're gonna add in some diced onion and cook that for about five minutes. You wanna put the lid on the pot so that it can kind of steam up and the onions get nice and tender. After about five minutes, we're going to add in those chickpeas that we have from the dessert. We're going to add the chickpeas into the pot along with some garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, and some red pepper flakes. And we're gonna stir that in until it's all nice and combined, and then we're gonna cook that for an additional five or so minutes. All right, so using your hands, we're actually going to crush some whole canned tomatoes into this pasta. Um, this is the one ingredient I decided to splurge a little bit more money on, this and the pasta noodles, because I wanted to make sure we had a really flavorful pasta. Um, so I bought the basically the upgrade from like our classic no-name brand and went with the cheapest variety of San Marzano tomatoes that I could find. And then, so using my hands, I just kind of crushed those into the pot. Then we're going to add in some water some broth paste and stir that until it's all nice and combined. Then lastly, we're going to add in our pasta and we're just gonna cook that until it's nice and tender or al dente. We're gonna serve that up and sprinkle with some fresh parsley and serve it with that toasted baguette that we made in the appetizer. Always. You're always date ready? Yeah, because I don't care about what I look like on dates. <laughs> but what about like mentally, like emotionally? I'm never date ready. <laughs> oh, app first. Yeah, right? yeah. That well, makes sense. I mean. No, that makes sense. Come on. App first. And normally this would be warm. What? It's super. <laughs> ow. Hot. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you make that much of a mess? I spilled one pea. Listen, and the rest was here. my peas are everywhere. <laughs> you peed everywhere. <laughs> I peed everywhere. I'm not ready for this date. Mm. <laughs> but what did you think? I'm not getting a second date. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. I was a little bit skeptical when I was like, really, she's just gonna feed me peas? <laughs> does she hate me? <laughs> yeah, I hate you. But no. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. And if you like increased your budget to like $20, you could add like a sprinkle of cheese on top or Parmesan mm -hmm. vegan, of course, or like maybe a spritz of citrus or something like that to brighten it up. But it's so good as is. But if you have more of a budget, throw some, a couple extra ingredients. It doesn't need much, but yeah, maybe you're a $20 date. Yeah. Devin's a $20 date. Yeah. Not including booze. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, under the main. A hundred dollar date, including booze. I'm making a good case for why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dinner. You like it? I'm so curious. Mm-hmm. 
If I would be able to taste the difference if you put the cheaper tomatoes in here. We could try that. <laughs> what like kind of blew my mind is that there's not many other ingredients in this and it still tastes so good. Yeah. Like there's just onion and a couple spices and that's it. The spices are really doing it for me. Right? Yeah. The little bit of heat, not too much. It's got a nice little kick. But like it blew my mind that the sauce was so good with mm -hmm. so little ingredients in it. And if you splurge on cheese for your crostini, you put some of that cheese in exactly. here too. Exactly. And there you go. $20 date. <laughs> Plus booze. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Dessert time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Our so simple. Baba still blows my mind. Right? Three ingredients are in this. And like more non-vegans need to learn about this science. Yeah, it's way better than nooch, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I did not know I was gonna be that passionate. But like when you're when you per first put it in the blender and you start blending it up, it has a smell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now it does it. It's gone. I don't understand. Chickpea water it smells like, like aqua faba is like the definition of the perfect glow up. <laughs> Truly. It's so good. And it's such a good way to end this meal, I feel like. I think everything goes so well together. Mm -hmm. And again, the $20 meal would include some strawberries or Oreos with this. <laughs> Am I right? Oreos. <laughs> no. I'm freaking classy. It's Valentine's Day. Do I go with strawberries <laughs> or Oreos? Mm, I only have a $20 budget. Which one do I go with? <laughs> this is my truth. So, what should we talk about in the comments, Devin? Mm. Have you ever cooked for your significant other? Oh, yeah. What did you make then? What do you cook to impress somebody on a date? Yeah. Or what kind of meal do you go get or whatever? What's that like? Because food is such an important part of a date, I oh feel like. Oh my god, yeah. If you go on a date and there's no food involved, like I feel like you're disappointed at the end of that date. Or drunk. <laughs> or drunk. <laughs> okay, let's talk about dates and food in the comments. Not <laughs> dates, the food. Dates. Like what that food? you go on. Yeah, we don't want to hear about dates. No, not in this video. <laughs> We're not date people. <laughs> okay. All these recipes will be in the description box below. As usual, there's also a link to our podcast. It's called Camera Eats First. It comes out every Monday. It's about running our blog. It's about making recipes. It's about trending news topics in the vegan world. It's on Apple and Spotify and Google Play and a bunch of other places that you get podcasts. Um, also in the description box is a link to our merch. Yeah. Um, we're not wearing it. <laughs> I decided to wear red for Valentine's Day. And I wore gray <laughs> for Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> also in the description box is our Patreon account. Our patrons are a great community of people that help advise us on what we should do. And in exchange, we try to give them some extra content so they get extra insights into what we're planning. Yeah. They get the recipes the day before. They get, well, they're going to get a mukbang of us eating all we're these We're going foods. on a date. Yeah, we're going to go on a date <laughs> for a mukbang. Yeah. And they'll get to watch that. So you ever mukbang on your date? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? If you're able to support us, we really appreciate that. If not, give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share it, tag us if you make it. Mm -hmm. All of those things help our channel grow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to go on our date now. Yeah. We'll see you on Patreon. Oh. <laughs> Horrible date. Both of us. We <laughs> There's chocolate on the ground. I stepped on there's, there's peas on the ground. There's onion on the ground. Aggressive breadsticks. I like a long crostini. Tip is not optional. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Aggressive. Oh, dear. Stop out. Uh, yeah. <laughs>